Welcome to the UK Truffle Festival and Truffle Dog Championships 2022. What's been going on today has been an incredible event for the UK. We've hosted the first UK Truffle Festival and Truffle Dog Championships. We've had a, a truffle dog competition going on. We've had a, a whole festival with food and music and uh, all sorts of mushroomy delights. It's been amazing, I've been blown away. Highlight of the day is definitely competing. We took part in the Gold Cup, which was the scent and truffles underground. You had 10 minutes to find them and put a flag down. We have um, really enjoyed the dog show and having Roma have a little go, because she's a puppy, she's, you know, learning. We saw the first talk about going hunting for truffles with your dog, um, and then we tried out the little course and uh, Brody found six out of seven. Confirming our suspicions that he is good at it. We got our dog during lockdown. It's not always easy for her to sort of associate with other dogs and to come to something like this, which is obviously very, very busy. It's, it's just nice to see her around other dogs and people and having fun and she, you know, she will benefit from that and so will we. So I think, it, you know, from that point of view, it's been really good. And we've had a great day being here. It's been really fun. Found the talks incredibly interesting as well. There was a lot of stuff about the history of um, mycology, just a really, really interesting, diverse bunch of people and talkers and foods and drinks as well. Mm. It's been good. Events like today are really important because it's a small industry, truffles at the moment in the UK, but it can get so much bigger and events like today really help sort of push that forward and bring people together, the growers, the harvesters, the sellers, the, the people cooking with them, it's, it's fantastic. It's all about awareness, you know, and so getting people to come down and find out about your about what you can forage yourselves, you know, the fact that, that there are local people doing this and making a business out of it, you don't have to buy Italian truffles. Um, and I think that's enough of a message to get people to come down and support it. There's been so many people from the truffle world here. I've, I've met people that I'm now friends with, that I've followed on um, Instagram that I've never met before. Um, there's been a lot of like-minded people in the room and it's, it's just been a, a real celebration of, of truffles. It's been brilliant, uh, absolutely brilliant. So many interesting people to talk to about uh, truffles and mushrooms and uh, yeah, so it's, it's been, been brilliant. It's great that it's fully attended and sold out. Um, I think it's also very unpretentious and very, very chilled out. Everyone I've talked to has been so just up for it. It's very friendly and warming and, and I'm hoping next year will be twice the size. I would definitely recommend it. Um, we've had a fantastic time meeting new people, um, trying new flavours. If you haven't tried truffles, I'll tell you I find it. An event like this is important. It's important for the truffle industry. Um, it's important for all of us foragers and truffle hunters to communicate and get together. You know, for England, it's still a bit unknown, the presence of truffles in the UK. So this is a great opportunity to get the word out. And it's the first time we've ever really in England celebrated the British truffle. So it's fabulous.